What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you have seen these lights already. But if you haven't, welcome to the light show. Um, so much for um, in my last video, I was like, oh, we're not gonna buy any more equipment. We're just gonna focus on coral growth. Yada, yada, yada. That was a fail. So as you know, the Radeon G6 suck at um, the par. I don't know if it's just these, a lot of people say it, so I'm not the only one. These lights are ramped at 100%. I'm talking about the Radeons. And at 100% on top of this rock right here, I was getting mid to low 200s, which is weird. And then on this side, it was even lower because I have a G6, G6 and a G5, something like that, and then one of those orders. But um, the par was just terrible. And then me trying to like move into SPS, I wanna hit that, I don't know, everywhere I read online, like 350, 400, maybe that's too high, but I'm at like 320, 320-ish now. And then 350 in some parts, 320. And on the bottom, most of the sand bed, 220. Um, so that's that's pretty fantastic. And all the other corals that are not used to this highlight, they're they're doing okay. Open, some of the zoas closed up, but I'll get to why some of the corals are not happy in a minute. But AI blades, I got two of the grows and they're set at 50% intensity. And I have them coming on like, 30 minutes before the main lights come on. Like in the morning, they'll come on first, and at night, well, at night they shut off altogether. In the morning, I have those turn on, and then the radions come on 30 minutes after that. Okay, so when I was thinking about getting them, I, I thought about like, man, I just put this on, and I don't wanna like take it apart and slide them all out just to put these blades on. So, they do sell this. So when you, if you get these bars, um, you really don't have to mess with the main um, track system. All you have to do is take off the screws and with one hand you could just hold it and then slide this in and then screw it back in and that's it. So for this one, I did the one on the end and then well, the one here and then the one on the end um, because I believe this is a 14 inch. Dang, I should have had all these specs <laughs> in my head. But, uh, definitely not 14 inch, this is like I'll leave it in the comments, in the description, how long is this? But I felt like it, I didn't need it in the support on the middle light because this is like sturdy. It's not going anywhere, look at this. It's, it's pretty strong. Um, so this comes with the clip and then all you do is clip it in. Just make sure the clips are facing the same way. So when you go, you kind of just like put it in, pop it in. And then you're, then you're done. You just plug them in and then uh, adjust your intensity. But it looks really sharp, it looks really nice. And then the wires go out to that one side so there's no wires like going everywhere. Um, I'll also leave what these are called. I'll actually leave the link in the description if you're interested. Um, I know they make a tons of other ones, I just went with the one that was readily available. So uh, I think it was a good choice. It looks clean, it looks good. So the tank shadows are like very minimal. Here. And the camera looks like a shadow, but it's not. It's lit up. It looks like the whole tank looks different. It looks looks really good. I'm pretty um pretty pumped about these. Um, anyways, okay, you see this guy? This guy right here. If you guys think about getting one, make sure you have auto feeder. And make sure you're that you're doing micro feedings throughout the day. If you don't, look at that. Look at the tip on that coral. Chewed up. Um Look at the tip on this guy, the green one. Chewed up. It's like going after the green ones. Um, yeah, and I was wondering, like, what am I doing wrong? I'm not seeing any polyp extension, nothing. And it's from this, this guy just nipping at corals. So what I learned is, uh, from my Instagram buddies and just research is, look at, oh, he's just about to do it in front of the camera. I'm like, dang. Um, these guys gaze in the wild, like that's all they do. Just go eat this and that. Um, but online and from Instagram buddies, 
they have a hefty diet. So just because you get this, these things to eat, you're not in the cold. Come on, look at that. He's eating a dang freaking savage. Um, anyways, back to what I was saying. If you get them to eat, good, right? That's bonus. Second thing is you gotta feed the tank micro feedings just for literally for him to stay fed. Cause they, they swim, they swim, they like non-stop swimming. So they're burning calories and burning energy. So I got this cheap little uh, pellet timer. What is it called? Auto feeder, <laughs> I can't even talk. Um, so I just got it off Amazon, I think it was like 30 bucks. So I'm gonna put it on the tank and just do like small micro feedings throughout the day just to keep him like fed. So this way, hopefully he'll be full or just have something to snack on throughout the day and won't snack on these corals because like finally I'm like keeping SPS alive and now I'm faced with this. Like I swear, reef tank hobby, huh? Like one thing after another, you're good for like a few weeks and then bam, something happens. So if you have a lot of SPS, I would just, I would just stay away from this fish because um, all that feeding, what if your nutrients go out of whack and then you're gonna like jeopardize your coral health so yeah and also i was doing that whole aquaphorus to nitrate and phosphate and um, oh by the way they do sell both and it was go going up but then i was like i'm about to do all this feeding and i don't want to like overdo it so i stopped that and i just started feeding more into the tank and i try to keep a little like a quarter piece of nori on here whenever i'm home at least just um just for him and then the other guy but yeah that's crazy also look at that one look at that one no pop extension definitely not happy some of it's like turning white hopefully it doesn't die hopefully it can recover like that's my biggest piece i bought and i scored a good deal on it shame on you so i made some shorts or setting this thing up as a breeze yada 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 and it was I think I did something wrong or this might be a bad cage director. I don't know. Um, I'm still waiting on support. Setting it up is easy. It's a breeze. A lot of people have success setting it up and like a couple of my buddies on Instagram, they have, it's working good for them. No problem. But this one, for some reason, so I got it as um, test, reagent, and um, waste. So what it does is it'll turn on Okay, you think it's working, it'll go, but then it'll jump to waste. And then it'll jump back to uh, sample water, and then it'll go to reagent, and then I think it goes back on uh, sample water, and then it just, it's like it's not pulling the water, it just keeps, I don't know, it just keeps going and going until I have to cancel it. Like, this one time I let it go for like 30 minutes plus, and I was like, yeah, this is not gonna work. So, until I hear back from them, I still don't have anything to say about this because I did, really didn't even get to use it. But overall, as far as the Prophylux, this thing is pretty cool. It's just like any other controller. It's working as intended and then has a little screen. My, my salinity is kind of low, which I'm trying to bring up on my next water chain slowly. I mean, it's nice to look at, just like glance at it and you can see your pH, salinity and temp. So I don't know, it looks cool. So, yeah, that's that. Proflux 4, awesome. Cage director, having little issues. Uh, I'm not knocking it because all controllers have issues. And if it becomes like a really pain, then I'll tell you guys. And we'll go for it. Look at this, oh my. Yo, this thing's stressing me out. I keep forgetting like what I told you guys in the last video. I'm gonna start watching more of my videos and then start a video, right? So, I'm just gonna tell you guys because I really don't remember. Um, I had those two pairs from the Cube 20. The other one died. Those uh, long fin mocha clowns beat it up to a pulp, dead. So I put them, I took them out of the acclimation, put them in here, and he's just been living in the sump. Uh, down here, nothing else. Oh, here's that phosphate and nitrate stuff. It works, but I'm gonna slow down on it because I'm gonna feed more. Like I have no choice but to feed more. So I'm just gonna go with that route. Last week I sent out an ATI uh, ICP test and I'm going to try 
Reef Moonshiners. This is just one bottle. Right there. Reef Moonshiners. A um, bunch of people told me to try it and they're having really good success with it. And instead of, so the main thing about that that I understand from, um, instead of dosing trace elements in a bottle, which like what that has everything, what if your tank doesn't need all that? You know what I mean? So this way, once you get your ICP test, it'll tell you what exactly you're low on. And then for instance, like this is zinc. If you're low on zinc, you will only dose zinc. And I believe there's other companies out there, but like so many people had super success with the Reef Moon Trainer, so I'm giving it a shot. Um, and they have, if you're on the website, there's like a, like a template and it'll tell you, you fill in all the numbers and then it'll tell you what dosage of each of the trace elements you put in and go from there. So I haven't done that yet. I'm still waiting on my ICP test. It should be in sometime this week. So hopefully I'll have a video for you guys next week on that and I have a more better understanding of it. And that should be interesting because if I can lock in those numbers, this stuff should grow like wildfire, right? That is the plan. As long as this guy doesn't eat them all. All right, guys, that is it for the video. I know lately I haven't been in the video, but I feel like I don't need to be in the video. The main thing is the tank, right? Um, I'm doing okay, if you're wondering. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will catch you guys on the next round, and hopefully we can have all that. I'll be up to date with all the Reef Moonshiner stuff, so I'll have some uh, info on that for you guys. Catch you guys on the next round.